this font is on. So you can have the classic, um, you know, grid or uh, grid, the polygonic style here. We're gonna do it on normal. Our intelligence has received word of a disaster from one of the power stations. The last report on its status contained data showing a progressively increasing leak of electric energy. At first it was considered a malfunction of the main generator. However, a careful investigation revealed that all the components of the system were functioning normally. Gradually, the leaks increased to catastrophic levels, which caused a complete shutdown of the main power generation system. This looks very much like the actions of the time strikers. Strickland, our technical consultant, will explain the details. Indeed, the rapid loss of energy may explain the appearance of these creatures. Based on our experience from previous operations, we found that the monsters use energy fields of great magnitude in order to transport to our dimension, our time. In other words, they may appear in any part of the planet as if from nowhere. Also, we had sightings of a time channel, which appears when the time strikers arrive. The soldiers who witnessed it described it as a fluctuating green light of spherical shape. For now, this is all the information we have about the enemy. You will be dropped in the area of the warehouse at the power plant. It is enclosed with large construction on all sides. It is the safest place to drop you. The generator of the main section of the power plant is completely out of order. The station is poorly lit using only the backup generators. Your main assignment will be to reach the power plant's wind turbines and turn them on as a source of additional power. After that, go to the helipad where you will be picked up. I can't get over how gorgeous this looks. It has been some time since we've received word of the disaster. Time strikers have possibly reached the wind generators. Try to pay maximum attention. That's just partial attention. Any maximum. information about these creatures will be extremely useful. Good luck. Get ready. You are leaving now. We is uses gamepad as it should for this. Otherwise, PC, keyboard, and mouse, yada yada. Use of playing this with a uh, keyboard and mouse. <laughs> My brains, I get used to it. I usually play shooters like controllers sometimes too, but this one here is, uh, I'm more used to just playing with an actual keyboard and mouse, or just keyboard. This is actually before Quake, I think. Like, I think I might have... Hold on, let me look up the engine again. They did sub... The, I guess might have been predated... Was it Quake? I can't remember if it was an it engine. I'm legitimately drawing a blank right now. Um, Yeah, like playing with Borderlands, like my brain is forever an extra just using a controller personally. But at the same time, it still plays with a keyboard mouse pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't really say. Like, I can't, I couldn't tell you personally if, uh, what the engine they use. Like, they, like, it was meant to compete with Quake. Yeah, like, I don't see the engine here anywhere. Yeah, I got it on my GOG wishlist and Steam wishlist as well. I was originally going to buy it on Steam. Like, I was literally going to... I was this close to buying it, then developers reached out to me and granted me, and granted me a code. I was like, oh, cool. So then I was like, alright. <laughs> I'll take... I'll accept this. This part sucks, that's why I'm kind of hanging back here. The other dude's here. I'm used to playing this on my freaking... My monitor so close, that's why I'm all screwed up right now. I'm doing better than I thought I am, or I thought I was going to do. Again, I'm just used to playing with keyboard and mouse in this game. Because oh. this game, I've played it for so long on PC, I just... My brain is etched with uh, keyboard and mouse with it. Doesn't mean it can't... Doesn't play well enough with this controller here. But again, it's just, this game, personally, just for myself, it's just... Um, I have to turn up the sensitivity, I think. Ah, it doesn't feel right. How about I, <laughs> I just picked the It was right there, too. Don't mind me. There we go. That's better. I don't like my controls being too stiff. Like, I'm very loosey-goosey. My, like, my sensitivity usually gets cranked up if I'm playing, like, FPS shooters or whatever online. Like, I'll play Destiny 2, for example, online with a controller. And I have the sensitivity turn or the um, the uh, the aim assist turned off, and I just play it with just as it is. At the same time, there's nothing wrong with it playing it with a uh, aim assist on. I mean, again, you're competing against people with keyboard and mouse, but uh, this one here, it so far plays really good with the controller. Like they mapped it out very excellent. Like, I'm just trying to get my barons here. Because, again, it's like I'm just... I prefer that aim to be loose. Where's the other guy? Like, I can kind of speedrun this game a little bit. Not the entirety of the game, but this part, partic like, alone, I can go pretty quick through this level. Uh, not so much with this game at the moment, because you can see I'm very playing it very steadily, because, again, I'm just not used to playing, like, I'm very much so at a disadvantage. Alright, where was the controls for this one again? Am I turn on the turbulent? On the turbs? Let me see. Where the hell am I going? Go to the hell of that. Oh, 
Oh god, the remake, I cannot wait for that one. This looks so good. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so we came in this way. And come in through here. And we go this way. Coming through here. Oh. So yeah, solid port. I mean, I can't really find no issues with it so far. Well done, soldier. Not bad for your first mission. After you switched on the wind generators, we were able to restore the output of the power station. Now, we don't have time to discuss this. We have a major problem with one of the military bases. This time, we are facing a grave danger. The underground level Yeah, the same here. It's like I was tempted to pull the trigger for pre-ordering it, but I I needed certain things, like utility things here, so I grabbed those before I grabbed the game. But I was gonna, I was this close to pre-ordering. If they get their hand on the missile launch system, System Shock remake. Considered winners. The warheads have enough power to wipe out any signs of human presence. Like so far, the demo though has been really outstanding. Like it did that demo. Just I was playing. I replayed the demo like a gazillion times already. Mission will be to reach the cargo elevator, which will take you to the underground level. The demo gives you a good girth of the game, so if you want to just get your fixings out of it, you can definitely play that one. I would like to warn you that the military base is equipped with security systems, namely cameras, and auto aim. Gives you the first level of the first floor of the game, but... Well, at least from what the demo was, it's outstanding. Be careful. Good luck. All right. 